Okay, now here's part two. Okay, I already discussed the plot on the last part. Now to discuss my thoughts. I only saw saw this episode and wouldn't you know? It sucked. Yeah, I thought it had I had thought I had s some problems with it. This episode, this Halloween special episode, I would like to call it, has problems. One example: Lincoln and Clyde were burying their candies. Like, how come the ants never got into them after they dug it? I mean. That I know it's a cartoon, but still, if you bury it, that's going to attract ants. That part really got me so confused. I'm surprised that n none of their candies have been infected by ants. <clears throat> oh, and. Lin Sire, he, he, he was, he, he was such a fucking coward in this episode. Like, he's, he's really scared of anything that's Halloween related. Like, he goes chicken shit about this. I mean, he's just as bad as Childish Dad. Yes, I'm talking about Dave the Childish Dad from the Childish Dad series from Viand. And yes, the Childish Dad series is pretty annoying and cringe too, due to his crying tantrums. And with this, Lynn Sire's cowardice of Halloween, it's just aggravating to sit through. I mean, my God. God, he, it's not, it's not, it doesn't come out as funny at all, it, it just comes out as painfully annoying and just cringe worthy, like, my God, it's that cringe. And what's worse, Lincoln and Clyde told, told those two boys that they got candies at Franklin Avenue, and eventually, Franklin Avenue got completely devastated. And especially the maze at, in the Loud House, of course. And does Lincoln Loud and Clyde actually get blamed for it? Well, actually, no. They get away all scot-free. Wow. Just freaking wow. Those two assholes told those two boys about where the candy is and and they eventually devastate Franklin Avenue and Apparently, it's Lincoln and Clyde's fault for telling them. I know that they want candies, but come on. This is this is your, this is the best effort or idea that they could ever come up with. That is just bullshit. Oh my god. And Luna, her song was just very. Cringe and cheesy, like the maze. It's, it's just really predictable and not scary. Like I've seen, I've seen movies that does have some scary scenes, like Beetlejuice or Little Shop of Horrors or Monster House or even Corpse Bride and The Nightmare Before Christmas. At least those. Those were at least family friendly films to watch. But it, this, this is, it's just bogus. And, and Luan, Luan's joke that she made doing like the corn jokes, corn maze jokes. 
just comes out as cringe and cheesy. Same goes with Luann's cringe warby jokes that she comes up with. And another thing. How come... <clears throat> okay, and another thing. How come these two girls, Lana and Lola, they keep they keep changing costumes? Like they go from a Statue of Liberty and Abraham Lincoln to a Salt and Pepper Shaker and to a mermaid and a pirate. Like I understand, yes, it's a cartoon, but this is really confusing. Like. What the hell are they supposed to be? Like, it just leaves me very confused. Like, it's aggravating to to see what they they were trying to be. And yeah, most of the characters they they were bland. And yeah. S they were just the characters were acted so bland and so just no. And yes, just to keep that in mind, I yes, I still do hate the Loud House myself because because of its mean spiritedness disgusting jokes and cringe-worthy moments and unlikable characters. And Lincoln Loud never s never seems to suffer the consequences of what he did. How come how come his sisters never scolded at him saying that it was all his fault? I'm sorry, the plot is really messed up. The plot just does not make sense to me. Like, Lake, what Lakin did was wrong, okay? And he messed up their maze, all thanks to those two guys. And Lakin was responsible, and so is Clyde. And they should have been scolded at. By the Loud House sisters. Because. Oh my god. This. Is just. Ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. If you ask me. And the ending was. Mediocre at best. So yeah. So yeah. Bottom line. I think. This was such a terrible Halloween special of the Loud House. Yeah. If you thought that Teen Titans Go! Halloween vs. Christmas was bad enough. Well. I think. I think that is. Is equally as bad as Tricked from the Loud House. In my opinion. Both of these episodes. Halloween specials I should say. They're really bad. Okay, to me at least. They should have at least... They should have at least... Fixed this, but... In, but no, instead Lake and Loud gets away with it. Yeah, sometimes... Lake and Loud can be... Can be he can be such a huge asshole at times. In fact, he really is an asshole, Lincoln Loud. Because he never... Once he learns his lesson, he does the same bullshit again and never seems to learn his lesson. Like, that's really ridiculous. Okay? So yeah. Tricked was a very terrible Halloween special. And their father was... Was, was a huge coward. Throughout the entire episode. And he was very annoying. I mean. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Was more likable. And. And. 
The way he screams at times, you find it funny at times. Because the way the way that he screams is supposed to be like for amusement and something like that. Because it's a cartoon from Cartoon Network, Coach the Cowardly Dog. So yeah, Coach the Cowardly Dog does it does does this way better than than Lincoln Loud's father. So yeah. Tricked, what a terrible episode. And I'm going to give it a 1 out of 7. It's really terrible. But if you like it, once again, good for you. I'm glad you enjoy it. I just wish I could enjoy it, but I just couldn't. I thought it had so many problems. So, yeah, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much, folks. So, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe to me, turn on notifications, and don't forget to send me your requests. I'll see you guys next time, and this is me, signing off.